Hello and thank you for joining our Dash Trader Tips video. Today's video will show you how to use our allocation feature. The allocation feature is useful if you're trading for multiple accounts. With it, you'll be able to make a single trade in one account and later distribute or allocate shares to the other accounts under your control. This eliminates the need to make multiple trades of the same stock to satisfy the needs of multiple accounts. Allocating shares. To illustrate how the allocation feature works, I'll show you an example of distributing shares from one of my accounts to two others that are associated with my user ID. Looking at my account window, you can see that I have three separate accounts, TR Demo QT, TR Test 98, and TR Test 99. Moving down to my positions window, you can see that I have 3,000 shares of Cisco in my TR Demo QT account. For my example, I'm going to allocate 1,000 shares to each of my other two accounts, TR Test 98 and TR Test 99. To do this, I'll go up to the Trade tab up top and select Allocation to bring up the allocation window. First, load the trades from the account you wish to allocate by going to the drop down menu. In my case, I'll select the TR Demo QT account and press Load to bring up the current day's trade to be allocated. Once I highlight the shares, I can start to designate the accounts to allocate to by clicking on Add. I'll input my first account to allocate the shares to and then input the amount of shares. I'll click on Add again to input the information on my second account. Note that if I hit the Allocation button now, it will give me a message that allocated subaccount shares must equal to the selected trade shares. Being that I'm trying to allocate 3,000 shares, the total amount of shares in this section here must add up to 3,000. After my allocation, I should still have 1,000 shares in my original account, so I'll have to include this as well so that all 3,000 shares are accounted for. Once I hit on Allocate, you can see the allocation breakdown to the right here. This will give you a chance to review everything before committing. Once everything is set, you can commit to the allocation by clicking on this button here. Now you can see that my Positions window has been changed to reflect my allocations. You may also do an allocation by percentage instead of share amounts. Before adding your accounts, first place a check mark next to Allocate by Percentage. Thereafter, the process is the same. Add the accounts you wish to do the allocation to, set your percentage, and allocate. Once everything is set, click on Commit Allocation and it's done. Canceling Allocations even though you've committed an allocation, you can still go back and cancel it during the same trading day. To do so, bring up your allocation window and load your originating account. In my case, it's a TR Demo QT account. Highlight the shares you wish to cancel and hit Allocation Chain. This will bring up the transaction history displayed in the window here for your review. Once you're ready to make the correction, hit Cancel Allocation and the allocations are reverted back to the original positions. Thank you for joining our Dash Trader Tits video on allocating shares. We hope this will help make trading and managing for your accounts more efficient. Please join us on our other videos as we cover other topics to help improve your experience with the Dash Trader. Once again, thank you for joining us.